Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the why rapture disc is installed in the upstream of pressure safety wall, right? What are the reason that we are going to discuss in this video? So you will see in industry and in industry, if you see in any pipeline there, there may be a rapture disc is used, only rapture disc is used or only PSV is used in the line or in the equipment or you can see both are used in the combination right so in this video we will discuss what are the reason when rapture disc is used in the upstream of the psv right so before we discuss about the what are the reasons let's discuss that what are the standards which you may refer when you are dealing with or when you are sizing the rapture disc or pressure safety board so first standard which you can refer that is ASME section 8 division 1 right then you can also refer API standards API 520 part 1 and API 520 part 2 API 521 API 2000 okay it depends where is your PSV is installed or RD is installed right then you can also refer ISO 4126 series okay let me in the comments box if you want the all the standards over you in brief in any particular video right let me in the comments box and one thing as well let's suppose if there is one line and in this line only rapture disk is used okay or let's suppose if any particular system only PSV is there or RD plus PSV is there right if there is any combination or any scenario you see you can refer these standards okay these all standards will help you a lot so now let's see what is the first reason okay the first reason is why we use the rapture disk in the upstream of PSV the first is it protect the PSV from corrosive or toxic fluids okay what is the meaning of it let's suppose if you are handling any corrosive process fluid right so it could be anything right it could be your hydrogen sulfide hydrochloric acid or ethyl dichloride amine etc if it is corrosive or toxic if you are not using rapture disc so what will happen that the process fluid will directly will be in the contact with your psv internal part right or will be directly in contact with the seat or disc so it will be in the contact with the your disc right so you can do one thing the first thing you can keep it same okay it will be in the contact with the process fluid will be in the contact with the disc or seat or you can upgrade the moc if you will upgrade the moc obviously the cost impact will be there right but if you like if you remain the moc at the basic level or let's suppose if you keep the moc same as your pipe spec but you install here one rd so what will happen that the rd will create one physical barrier between your process fluid and your psv internals right so what will happen it will protect your psv internals from the process fluid okay so that's is the one reason why we use the rd in the upstream of the psv so in many chemical or refinery process the process fluid may be highly corrosive toxic or falling so an rd provides a physical barrier between the process and the psv okay protecting the internals of the psvs from the damage or contamination when i talk up when when i say internal so it could be your seat spring bonnet etc you know what will happen that after over the time you have, let's suppose if your psv is leaking right so what will happen that the internal parts will be also affected if your fluid is corrosive or toxic okay that you can see in our industry or if you are working in an industry you can see this right now the second is prevent leakage through the PSV same which I discussed about you that uh, this PSV is nothing but a mechanical device right so it can have a minor seat leakage over the time you see the minor leakage 
in the like in your manual wall or in your control wall okay your manual wall let's suppose if you see in a plant there there is a gate wall glow wall plug wall check wall over the time there could be some leakage okay that could be your minor seat leakage so it could be also happen in the psv as well right but if you use the rd in the office team so what will happen it will create a tight seal to prevent any leakage of the hazardous valuable process fluid which you do not want to be waste okay or which you do not want to go to the atmosphere or in a flare system during normal operation see let's suppose if your plant is 20 years old okay and you have not changed the psv so now and you are you also know that there is some leakage problem right so if there is rd in the upstream so there will be a tight seal now there could be one like you can ask one question here if you will see there is a rd and psv let's suppose if this rd burst up then how will you get to know that now the rd is burst up and it now your psv is in the contact and now your process fluid is in contact with the your psv internal so there is one arrangement that is called telltale assembly tail tail assembly so what will happen if this rd will burst up or if this rd will create a leakage so due to this telltale assembly arrangement you will get to know that the rd is leaking or it is burst up right and then you can simply attend this re and replace the rd now the fourth reason is reduce maintenance cost okay so obviously let's suppose if due to leakage or due to some other reason if you are attending your psv frequently or if you are doing the maintenance of that psv frequently so what will happen that your maintenance cost will be increased why let's suppose if your psv internal parts or your psv is exposed to dirty or sticky process fluids right so what will happen that you will have to attend your psv in a schedule maintenance or regularly or you can attend i most probably you will have to attend in online right but if the rd is in the upstream so obviously what will happen that it will extend the life and you will not have to attend the psv maintenance again and again right you can attend that in like in a schedule in a long schedule maintenance or in the annual turnaround right then it also provide a dual relief protection see both are relief systems right rd and psv so if you are using both together what will happen that it will enhance the safety right and this rd is always like burst at the burst pressure at the burst pressure and that burst pressure is normally your set pressure of the psv or less than that right it depends on your design philosophy what you are using then the rd is designed to burst slightly below the psv set pressure so that you will get to know that your rd has burst up now you have to change the rd or your psv can pop up because the pressure buildup is there due to xyz reason now which ensure rapid depressurization in emergencies right so this is one reason now let's see the third reason now the third reason is maintain cleanliness okay sometimes the psvs need to protect it from contamination okay if let's suppose if you are if there is some fluid which you do not want to be contaminated now an rd up steam keeps the psv internals clean until actual relief is required so that is also important part now please let me in the comments box if you are working in an industry or if you have worked ever in rd and psvs what is your view about it okay also please let me in the comments box which topic i should cover in my next video right so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching keep learning thank you